Welcome to the March 2023 compilation video, where we review each aircraft that we have seen this month. Everything from the regional ERJ-175 and the 737-200 to the mighty 777 itself. We see the colorful and the bland, young aircraft with bright futures and old friends repurposed or supporting their excellent siblings. Please watch as we take a stroll down memory lane to those aircraft we got to see histories of this month. And if you watch till the end, a preview of what you can expect to see next month. March 1st, the Bangkok Air 717-23S and the 2000 Air Tropical Livery. Delivered to Bangkok Airlines in 2000, this aircraft was initially registered as November 9014S and flew with Bangkok Airways from 2000 to 2008. This aircraft ended its career with Delta Airlines in 2020 after serving with four different airlines which also included Spanish-flagged Span Air and the Nordic Blue One Airlines. March 2nd saw the DHL Douglas DC-8-63F cargo freighter. After spending the years 1968 through 1983 flying passengers all around the Northern Hemisphere with such airlines as Canadian Pacific and World Airways, it spent a second career as a converted cargo freighter for several different companies across several different continents. Its career would end in Africa with Marinian Airways sometime in the 2010s. Erica started its career flying passengers internationally for Courtline briefly from 1973 to 1974. While it was flying for Courtline, this aircraft was named Halcyon Breeze. Then it was acquired by Cathay Pacific Airways for service in Asia and around the Pacific Ocean. By 1996, it was in the Caribbean flying for Caribbean Winds Airlines before becoming a parts hull for Air Transat. March 6 brought us the Aerospace Line Super Guppy flying for Airbus Industries. Based on the Boeing's 377 Stratocruiser, which itself was based on the B-29 Superfortress, Airbus used this and other outsized transports to haul fuselage and wing parts of their beginning lines of aircraft all around Europe to the final assembly point in France for assembly. They did this for 25 years before being replaced by A300-based Beluga aircraft. On March 7th, we would see the Swiss Air Airbus A321-111 with the blue belly Koala Flyer logo and livery. This aircraft was delivered to Swiss Air in 1995, flying international routes around Europe until Swiss Air's collapse in 2001. Eventually, the aircraft would begin flying in Turkey with Turkish Airlines between 2004 and 2007. Eventually, this aircraft would return to Switzerland with Swiss Air's follow-on corporation. Next, on March 8th, we come upon the Air Jamaica 727-2JO Advanced starting its career with Air Jamaica in 1975 and continued flying with them under different registrations and different liveries until 1999. At this point, although it would continue flying in the Caribbean region, it would be flying for a third iteration of Pan American Airways, but this would only last till 2004. March 9th saw four aircraft painted in retro liveries by British Airways to celebrate the 100th anniversary of commercial passenger air service in Great Britain. This example is the British Airways Airbus A319-131 painted in the last British European Airways livery. Originally delivered in the current British Airways livery in the year 2000, the current paint job was applied in 2019 and continues flying in this scheme today. And now for a visit with the Queen of the Skies, the Boeing 747, specifically a 747-132 belonging to Delta Airlines, who owned and operated this 747 from 1970 to 1974. It then moved on to China Airlines out of Taiwan and then back to the States with Pan Am. This aircraft then underwent a cargo conversion and served the remainder of its money-making career with Evergreen International, with it now sitting atop a water park. March 13th, we went south of the U.S.-Mexico border and visited a Aeromexico DC-9. This aircraft wore every livery that Aeromexico had from 1974 to its retirement 30 years later in 2004. While partially scrapped and scavenged for parts, this aircraft now is serving a unique purpose as a hull to escape from at a water survival training facility in Guadalajara, Mexico, where it sits next to a pool to this day. March 14th, we went to go see a well-traveled 737-700. While one might assume that with Southwest's record of being an all-737 airline, 
that this particular plane has been with them all its career. You would be wrong on that account. It began its service life with Maersk Airlines in Denmark, and after serving with follow-on corporations, it would go on to service in Ukraine and the Russian Far East. After that, this plane would return to the U.S. to finalize its career with Southwest Airlines. March 15th brought us the first of our two brand new JetBlue A321s. This particular one was delivered from Airbus in the middle of 2021, and after receiving its unique tail design like most JetBlue aircraft have, it was also named Joel Peterson after the company's current CEO. This aircraft has also had its interior laid out for the long-haul mint service that JetBlue has for transcontinental and transoceanic flights. On March 16th, another A321 arrived into our collection. This one is an A321-271 NXWL, delivered to Air New Zealand in the All Black livery in honor of New Zealand's All Blacks rugby union team. This aircraft provides service from New Zealand to points of interest all over the South Pacific Ocean, including Australia, Fiji, and other tourist destinations in that part of the world. Come March 17th, the second of our two JetBlue aircraft was profiled on our channel. As before, this is a relatively brand new Airbus A321, and like its previous sibling aircraft, it is also configured for the long-haul mint service. The only true difference between this aircraft and the previous one is its name, a mint summer's night's dream, and a totally different registration number. We decided March 20th had to have something very different, so we went with the ANA 777-281ER in its current anime Demon Slayer livery. Delivered in mid-2013, it originally wore the standard blue wedge livery most current ANA aircraft are known for. From 2016 to 2021, it wore the stickers advertising the 2020-ish Summer Olympics, before in 2022 being repainted in the current Demon Slayer livery. March 21st would bring us a McDonnell Douglas produced derivative of the long lived DC 9 family. This would be a Transworld Airlines owned MD 83, wearing the 1980s era twin red stripe livery. Delivered in mid 1987, this aircraft would wear this livery in the final TWA Golden Globe livery while with TWA. After TWA's merger with American Airlines, it would serve briefly with American Airlines until placed into storage for eventual scrapping. On March 22nd, we again had the first of two aircraft that were from the same company and were of the same model. This one is the Aero Classics Delta Airlines 737-232 Advance, wearing the classic Delta Airlines widget livery. During its history, it would bounce to and from the Delta Express service. This plane also wore the Ron Allen livery and the Colors in Motion livery before being retired in 2006. Next up, the EGNG Janet 737-66N, one of the more mysterious aircraft made in 1400 and in real life. This aircraft started its life with Taiwan-based China Airlines through an original order from a recently purchased airline. This along with many other 737-600s were purchased and repurposed by the United States Air Force to fly people from the Las Vegas area to secure Air Force bases in and around the Nevada Deep Desert. March 24th saw what is probably the smallest aircraft covered in the month of March, the Alaska Airlines Embraer ERJ-175, wearing a Horizon Air retro livery. Like our A321s on previous days, this aircraft is very new, having been delivered from the Brazilian Embraer factory in late 2022. After that delivery, this aircraft has gone to serve Alaska Airlines regional routes, mostly in the Pacific Northwest, but with some stops as far as Texas. The March 27th video covered a unique looking aircraft, this one being a long serving 757 330WL. Initially, this aircraft was delivered to Condor in Germany in 2000. Since then, while being operated by Condor the whole time, served for Thomas Cook Airlines to their many vacation destinations. After wearing many guises through the years, the aircraft currently wears the Condor blue striped Sea Vacation livery. March 28th is part 2 of our Delta 737 collection for this month. This model wears the Delta Express widget livery it wore in the early 2000s. This aircraft started life with the mainline Delta service and returned to that service once Delta Express ended in 2003. 
After that, it actually managed to go from widget livery directly to the colors in motion livery before ending its career with Canadian North Airlines and flying in the far northern regions before providing parts for its siblings. Moving on to March 29th is a step into the past, and this month's only propeller-driven aircraft, the Aero Classics Western Airlines Lockheed L-188A with the red painted Indian head logo just after the cockpit. This airplane served Western, Transcontinental, Xantrop International, and Revolution Airlines. Starting in the 1950s, this aircraft served both as a passenger liner and a cargo liner till the mid-1980s, before retiring to the scrap heap of history. Finally, we reach March 30th. It was on this day we covered the history of the Aero Classics LL Boeing 707-358B. In the earliest days of 1959, this aircraft ranged the world from Israel. After three decades of passenger service to every corner of the world, this aircraft was quite literally put to pasture in Ireland to scavenge it for parts. Eventually, this aircraft would make its way to the Mojave Desert in the United States for final disassembly and scrapping. And now for a tease of what is coming up in April of 2023. Over the coming month, you will see the Lockheed TriStar Demonstrator aircraft in multiple guises. A Japan Air-owned 747-300, the Hawaiian Airlines 717, the Pan American 727, and many others. Hopefully we won't have any interruptions to our shooting schedule. Thank you, and we hope you've enjoyed watching this video.